Hello everyone, I am here today for the day 4 update. We are officially past the halfway point. So how are you guys doing? Are you guys chugging along? Are you falling a little bit behind? I'm falling a little bit behind, but I still think that I can catch up. I might change my TBR a little bit and I'll explain that if I actually do end up doing that. First off, I just want to say that it's real cool. If you didn't see my tweet today, YouTube Nation um, did like a weekly update or something, and I guess BookTube has really been trending and being as awesome as it is, and so YouTube Nation mentioned Booktubeathon, and they showed clips of both Ariel and Katrina and that was really cool. It was really cool seeing Booktube and Booktubeathon represented in a much larger scale than I think anyone had really anticipated. If you did not see the video, I will copy that link down below and it should be in the About section. So now for the update. Last night I read until page 180. It's about 9.30ish and I've only read 65 pages today. So that puts me at 245 pages. I do have a hardcover of Wings of the Wicked but I've been carrying around my Kindle. So according to my Kindle I have about three and a half hours left to read. So my goal is to finish that tonight. Today I am determined to finish Wings of the Wicked. I'm feeling pretty confident right now that I can. I've been having to get up around like 5.30 in the mornings, so I need my sleep. I'm not the type of person who can't get sleep. I need about eight hours of sleep, and as it is, I've only been getting like five, five and a half. So tomorrow I don't have to wake up early because I telework tomorrow so I can work from home so I can sleep in a little bit later. So I plan to stay up and finish Wings of the Wicked tonight. So that way, hopefully then tomorrow, I can finish Shadows in the Silence since I won't be transporting back and forth and all that jazz. So now for today's video challenge. And the challenge for today is to find three books and combine their book titles to create a story. Ariel mentioned that it could be like a paragraph, it could be a sentence, and I think it's more fun to put it into a sentence. And I kind of got carried away, so I have quite a few of them for you, and I hope you enjoy them. It's in the end game when we notice the messenger of fear and their stone cold touch. Being invisible is a great and terrible beauty that often leaves us unhinged. This one takes a little imagination, but we're not all half bad, and we have to exit the darkest part of the forest to realize the lies we tell ourselves. And this one, this one, I think, took a lot of creativity, and it might not be one sentence, but it's an idea that fits together, and it's shatter me, unravel me, and ignite me. So that is it for today. I should get going so that way I can actually finish Wings of the Wicked. And yay, wish me luck. See you tomorrow. Can you see it? This says meaning and it's a man and he's searching for meaning. And then I accidentally made his foot really, really long. So I tried covering that up by putting flowers like, oh, look, it's the grass.